plenty of red and white shirts to choose from. Referee Aaron Jackson just keeping a close eye on some pushing and shoving inside the area. The delivery comes in right to the centre of the six-yard box, headed away by Pools. A shot followed in. Dior Angus with a header that just clips the crossbar. At the byline, circles back on himself to Cook. Helped on to Crawford. Pools working their way backwards here, but Crawford does well to do a full 360. Then picks out space for Cook, who just again gets his pocket picked. Move kept alive by Gray. Out to Dickinson, looks to deliver! And in slides Desiree where almost ends up in the goal mouth. That halfway line, zip it in and try to quicken the pace, as they're looking to do, no, do now with Kozilo. Into the centre of the pitch. Midway inside the pool's half, out to this near side for Banks. Dior Angus and others hanging on the shoulder of the last defender through to Angus inside the penalty area. Too much on that and collected by Dixon in the pool's goal. And Cook is asking where his teammates were. Well, they weren't where he put the ball. As Dior Angus plucks the ball out of the air. Oh, and then Waterfalls cleared it straight to the Altringham man who strikes from distance and scores. And it's Matty Kozilo who gets his third of the season. The clearance from Waterfall was straight to Kozilo, who hit it hard through a crowd of bodies. Dixon diving down to his right-hand side, and it slipped through his grasp. Who's looked really good, hasn't he, in this first half, Mooney, on this near side? Been right in the thick of it. Oh, Dio Angus. Angus turns his man, strides into the penalty area. Onto his left foot. Oh, and didn't quite have the finish to guide the ball past Dixon. It's what it looks like. Jonathan Franks will run his eye over it in the fullness of time. No changes for Altrinham as Pools look to attack straight away. Cook into Dizarouwe. Onto his left foot. He turns away from his markers and then fires over the crossbar. And 18 seconds into the second half. And that start, you would hope, gives them a little bit of confidence. As I say that, oh, Cook has given it away. And now it's an opportunity for Mooney inside the penalty area. Goes past Dizarouwe, tries to curl it round Dixon, who drops it and then gathers it at the second attempt. His feet. An expectant Hartley pull at the start of this second half as Manny Dizarouwe gets a little shove in the back, nothing given. Joe Gray latches onto a loose ball at the byline, inside the box, cuts it back to Dizarouwe! from there and Hartlepool United's number 20 bags his 20th on his 30th barring one change at the break which saw Dickinson go off and Louis Stevenson come on how it can be so different in the second half yeah it does it, it's fine lines and it's, it's just change change the game oh what a challenge from Crawford that was beautifully timed Cook into Gray who tries to go down and the Spot. Matt Gould came out to try and smother the ball, but in doing so, he took the legs from underneath Gray, and now pulled. Dizarouwe against Matt Gould, right-footed from Pool's top goal scorer, and he makes no mistake. Dizarouwe at the double. Lethal from the spot, lethal inside the box, lethal full stop. His team forward down on the touchline, trying to feed a ball through the Pools defence but it doesn't come off. It rebounds kindly for Dizarouwe who's got three red and white shirts in front of him. Joe Gray is the outlet on the right hand side and he finds him now. Gray faces up against his man, two red and white shirts, a little drop of the shoulder into Dizarouwe, heavy touch! Second of the season. Pools are purring. Five minutes of stoppage time. Louis Stevenson looking to see how many red and white shirts he can dribble past. The counter stopped at two. 
back-to-back -back home wins on the horizon for Pools. As Con Clark drifts to the byline, low ball inside the area, shot from oh. Dior Angus and spilled into the back of the net by Joel Dixon. He will not want to see that again. He crouched down to gather it and the ball rebounded off his gloves, slipped and slid off his gloves into the net. And Altrinham have a goal back.